Ok, bear with me. The Beta FPV Aquila 16 has something that every beginner FPV drone has to have. No, it's not the DJI Avata looks. No, it's not the fantastic acro performance. And no, it's not the long flight time. It's something completely different. And if you ask me and you want to buy your first FPV drone and you never flew anything in your life, this actually might be something for you. If you are pro FPV pilot, then probably Aquila 16 is not for you. But before you will make your judgment, let me show you what's what. When first Beta FPV contacted me with the offer to review one of their drones, I was like, yeah, meh, I'm not really that much into that. But then I saw one of the features of the Aquila 16 that they were very shy about. Very little practical information, but because I am into Opflow and LiDAR, I decided I want to test it. And I did. So, the Aquila 16 FPV kit. Let's begin with the evaluation of the content of the kit. You basically get everything you have to have to get you started. You get the drone, you get two batteries, charger, a radio and of course the FPV goggles. Unfortunately, most probably the goggles are the weakest element of the whole set. I was unfortunately not able to use the goggles at all. There is no focal length adjustment of those goggles at all and I was not able to get, uh, well, to be able to see anything. Yes, I wear glasses, but I do not really need glasses. Unfortunately, in this case, this was just undoable. I was not able to have the glasses and the goggles on my face and because no adjustment, everything was blurry as hell. So if you need glasses, but you are not wearing lenses, you might want to consider if those box, simple FPV box goggles are really worth it. The radio itself, however, as the first radio you might ever own, is actually quite okay. I mean, it's not the same quality as the premium items, but it does everything. It comes already set up, every switch assigned, it's binded, you just power everything and you are ready to fly. And because it's the Express LRS, you might even have the chance to use this radio with other drones, absolutely no problems. Haven't tested that, but well, it's Express LRS. And the same goes, of course, for the charger itself. But now let's talk about the Aquila 16 drone itself. If this thing doesn't look like the DJI Avatar look-alike for you, then, well, where do you have your eyes? It's clear from where the Beta FPV got their inspiration when designing this drone. It's just obvious. Ducted, four motors, camera, battery on top, and you can pretend it's the baby Avatar. Bear in mind, those are custom batteries. They will not fit any other FPV drone you have. And if you want to use other batteries for the Aquila 16, you might want to have some kind of the adapter, I don't know, the mounting system, because they are just special. You have the arm switch, you get the switch that allows you to change rates from low to mid to high. You can also change channels from the radio with the flip of a switch and activate the turtle mode. All of that works. And of course you get three flight modes. You get the manual, which is basically the acro mode when you have all the control of the drone. You have the stabilized mode, which is basically angle when you have the angle mode and you control the attitude and you have the normal. And the normal flight mode, it's most probably the best flight modes for the beginners so they can see how it is to use the drones, FPV drones, and not to crash on the first attempt. Because in the normal mode, the Aquila will control the altitude and the position with the included LiDAR and the upflow sensor. You just take off, release the sticks, and it keeps the altitude and it keeps the position. And if you ask me, for the price, it's doing that actually pretty well. Maybe the altitude hold drift is visible and yeah, from time to time, you will have to correct the altitude, but when you just park it in the air, it actually stays in the air based on the information from the upflow sensor. During the FPV racing event few weeks ago, we tested that and both me 
and other pilots that seen how the Aquila is handling this just position hold indoors, we were actually quite impressed. It does what it has to do. And if you cannot fly acro, then flying in the normal mode is actually a breeze. Precise safe, you will get where you want to go, you will not crash it, you will not lose control, just perfect for beginners. For non-beginners, unfortunately, it's not that good. Oh, by the way, have you already subscribed to the FPV University newsletter? If you haven't, why? Every month you will get a portion of the FPV-related news and I promise, no spam. The link to the newsletter is in the description. Join the hundreds of the satisfied users. And yeah, I already sent the first letter to the subscribers. I found the manual mode, the acro equivalent of very hard to fly, mainly because as soon as you fly outdoors and there is basically any wind, there are very strong oscillations and on the OSD and anywhere in the setup, you cannot just lower the gains. Normal mode works great, the stabilized mode works great, the manual, well, not really that much. The last remark is that there is a problem with setting of the VTX channel. For unknown for me reason, this thing is working on the band B and you can only switch between four channels. There is no way to change the band from the radio and I also haven't found such an option in the OSD. So why is it B band? Why it's not raise band when everybody are using raise band? That's a problem that should be addressed. Verdict? I would be most probably delighted if this was my first FPV drone ever. It's cheap, because let's be honest, it is cheap, you get everything you need and you know nothing about flying FPV drones, this thing has you covered. You just start in the normal mode with low rates and there is not a chance that the drone will escape, crash or just get destroyed in the process. Very nice, very precise, it allows you to get the feeling of the immersive FPV flight. And then you can enable the equivalent of the angle flight mode, get some more freedom in the air, and then when you want to go manual, then yeah, most probably you will need something better because of the problems with the manual flight mode I described previously. It's fully doable indoors, but if you want to fly manual outdoors, uh, it's no longer that simple. My personal recommendation, if you want to have your first FPV drone and you know nothing about flying, Aquila 16 is fantastic. And if you don't need glasses, also most probably the goggles will be fine for you. Get one, check if it works, check if FPV is for you. If no, then well, you haven't lost that much. If yeah, then you can just start upgrading your setup. For experienced pilots, well, obviously rather not. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!